So then, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome, 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 welcome. Just uh, two seconds. Um, let's just see if this stream fills up. Because uh, today it's going to be a pretty different stream to what I've been doing uh, over the past uh, couple of years. Um, turn this light on. Yep, but it's better. Uh, turn this nicer color. Right. Um, Okay, so then now we've got four viewers, that is amazing. Um, I hope you can all see it well. Uh, today I'm going to be taking apart a printer, and I'm, uh, ex excuse my disgusting nails right here. Uh, I've already been dealing with those cartridges, and uh, it basically went all over my finger, so that's why it looks like that. And also sorry for this disgusting dirt right here. Let me just get a bin right here. Uh, and uh, after that we can, I guess, start. Uh, first I'll show you what is wrong with the printer, then I'll uh, uh, go and dis uh, dismantle it and maybe do some experiments with it. I guess we're going to see this. Hel uh, hello Eli, uh, thank you so much for being here, I really appreciate it. Right then. Oh dear, I sh probably shouldn't have done this. Oh, fucking hell. There's actually so much ink in that I left. Still the printer doesn't work. Which is why I'm taking it apart. Oh, fucking hell, there's ink all over it. Uh, I just um, hope I don't get it over my beautiful Fortox Fight shirt, which I might be able to see right here. It's a Fortox Fight shirt. Let's don't get it over it. Um, I don't want to ruin my Fortox Fight uh, shirt. Uh, right, uh, let me just get a bin and let me just get some tissues um, and I'll be right back. So then here we've got a bin, uh, hope you can all see it, here's a big bin, um, it might, might, be a bit, might be a big, uh, it might be a bit too big, um, let's try putting it somewhere right here, where I can conveniently just swipe everything in from the table if there's any dust, dirt, whatever. Um, let's also get a USB connector, and after that I guess we're going to start with the, oh my goodness my nails, that's a filthy. Um, after that, I guess we're going to uh, go ahead and start with the actual stream. Right, um... Hello, uh, Reflex TV. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So here's the power connector, which is this really nasty looking Molex connector. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, these are the ink cartridges. And um, that's the USB connector. I just need to find a free USB port. Because now the one I've been using is now occupied by my webcam. So now I need to find a USB port somewhere. Found one. Um, now let's plug the bugger in and uh, see it actually print something out. Uh, no, first of all, that is, uh, I've already screwed off the top, but uh, this is what it looks like from the front. Now, if you open it, there's this little uh, printer carriage where you, put the, uh, where you put the ink in. Come on, camera, focus. That's where you put the ink in and, uh, yeah, but let's just uh, take the uh, top off. Thank you so much, Reflex TV. Thank you so much. Uh, I, uh, I really appreciate it. Right, um, that's what it looks like uh, on the inside. And uh, you can also already see something going on. Uh, here we got this uh, magnet type of uh, encoder system. Where if you, let me just turn this around so you can see it. Um, if we turn this around, you can see there's this little circuit board. And there's this magnet strip reader, which uh, reads the magnet strip as it goes along the track so that way uh, the printer knows, ex ex knows uh, its exact position so uh, sadly one of them is uh, ripped off so you can see there's this little plastic piece right here you might not be able to see it but uh, oh damn it um, this is properly stuck here um, I 
can't get it back out. Uh, let's try bending it some way because this uh, this was basically made of two parts which you could hook up and now one of these has ripped off. So uh, let's put this in here and hope it doesn't rip apart. Let's just hold it while it's printing so I can show you the issue that I have with this printer. Um, let's just hope it doesn't rip out uh, once again. Ah, oh, that is so stiff. No wonder it keeps um, falling off or keeps tearing off. Um, this is like super stiff. Right, uh, I guess that should do it for us all. Let's plug the motor back in. Um, plug this lousy Molex connector in. Why is there a set of screws? I just put this away. Right, uh, plug the motherfucker in, plug it into the uh, computer using the USB and let me send uh, something to print. And just give you, just to give you an idea of how cheap this thing is made. Um, that is how you actually keep the paper from falling out. Just look at this. That is super bad. And also this uh, thing that limits, uh, like the paper size, it's not a thing that, uh, like, on both sides go together. Nope, it's just this little thing that goes along with this kind of like jagged track here. This is super cheap. Right, um, just the entire thing is cheap itself. Just look how it bends. Uh, right, let's plug it in. See what it does. It does nothing. Uh, well, that is not going according to plan. Let's see. Power supply is running. As you can see, the power supply is running. So it should be working, but for some reason it's not. Um, to my great... Oh, there we go. It's now flashing. So now let's just put the cartridges in. Um, black goes here. And purple, all the colors combined, which is a complete ripoff, goes in here. Tricolor cartridges. Whoever came up with this idea of making three uh, tricolor cartridges should absolutely, oh, should die of an, a natural death. I mean, that wouldn't do say something like that, but that's just absolutely stupid. Whoever designed this, um, uh, yeah. Basically that. Now here we got these nasty, uh, probably can't see it, but here's those uh, compartments where the ink drips down. And just look at how this thing cleans its printer head. Here, you can't see it, but there is a little squeegee in there. So as um, this thing can expand, see there's this uh, little black box. Now I can also manually do this by pulling a little trigger right here, but then this little squeegee goes up and uh, this just passes over it, and that would, it's supposed to clean the printer head, but it doesn't do this really well. Uh, now let's open this, close that part, and um, load some paper in. And yes, I am recycling, so I'm using a, pr uh, a paper that has already been used, so it's better for the environment. I don't just want to use uh, good paper for something like this. Let's plug in the USB port, uh, or the USB cable. Right. Oops, oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. That just kind of destroyed all of it. Um, oops, my webcam. Uh, where is, where's my internet browser gone? Uh, there, there, there it is. No, come on, get some people into here. There's so few people into here, in, in here. Got no idea why that is. Let me just do control copy. Uh, dick sword, where's dick sword gone? Uh, preferably not on this metal screen. Um, there we go. Uh, copy it just into a few of my Discord servers. Right, uh, let's just hope this stream gets more attention than just two viewers. I mean, I have 4,000 subscribers and two viewers in a stream. That is absolutely appalling. Um, I mean, I know I should be grateful for what I have, but... Oh, dear. Uh, so, let's just get rid of this part. I guess we don't really need it, so... Here, I already placed the bin. 
Right, now we just got one viewer. Oh my goodness, that is even worse. Right, um, let's just hope that it's a display error because I'm going to continue regardless um, of how many viewers I have right now. Um, right, uh, so now if we load the paper and it still blinks, I just press this again. So now it should be all set, and now it should be able to print something. Let's first see the uh, HP Desktop Manager. So the ink should be there, it should be present. Yeah, it is definitely there. I just want to know what it just tried to print. I didn't send it anything to print. Anyways, here's some more recycled paper. Let's just see that my name is nowhere on there. Right there is no name. Let's put it in there. Two seconds. Apparently people don't get notifications on my stream, I don't know. Um, right, so here's a paper now, I just need to hold it up because this rear part is gone. Let's get rid of these stupid messages, I don't want to hear, listen to them, YouTube. I don't want to listen to these messages, I don't want to see them because they are annoying. Uh, right, let's see the desktop, it's out of paper, okay. What is it trying to print? I'd like to know what it's trying to print. It's it's not printing anything. What is... What, 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 what? What was that for? That just was absolutely useless. Right, um, now let's send off a uh, uh, maintain your printer. Let's see what it says right here. Um, device report print diagnostic information. I don't know why it's flashing though. Yep, and that's basically the issue. Uh, the cartridges are cleaned and uh, the cartridges are full, but it still doesn't print a thing. That is super weird and I don't get why, why that is. I've already ordered a new printer, so this one's definitely going to, uh, not going to stay in one piece. Right, um, what we want to see right now is we want to disconnect this magnetic strip and see what it does if we disconnect the strip. I just remove it from here so now we got this trip and let's give it another print job and see what it does then I should be uh, calling this stream a bit differently let's just uh, print the diagnostic page again and see what the printer head does if it even knows where it is oh fuck it failed to print Oh no! Why is that? Why was that window in front of it? Oh dear. I just was a complete fail. <laughs> now, if we if we are going to reset this, it's going to smash right in here. Let me show you. Yep, there we go. It's smashed right in there. Because now it's th still things, 
uh, as it is basically taking it with it and like curled it up right here, it's now thought um, that the head would still be at the very end, so it with great speed smashed into here. That's what that's what basically happened. Let's turn it back on. Turn it uh, back off. Boom! There we go, this print is going crazy. Let's just completely remove it out of there and see what it does now. Turn it off. It's going to smash into something. Yep, smash into that end. Probably couldn't get anything, so it just stopped at some random point because it didn't know where to go. Let's turn it on again and turn it off. Why does it keep smashing into this end? Now, let's see what it does when it's already on this end. Basically, just keep smashing into the edges. Um, well, not into the edges, but into onto the end of this. Uh, now, let's see um, right here. Apparently, some printer ink has leaked out and flown out of the printer case before. Uh, and see, there's also some really crusted in ink. Uh, if we go and put some light into this, you can see there's some dried up ink in there. I don't know how this happened. Let's take take out this little funnel and see what's beneath underneath it. Uh, this little funnel is absolutely full of ink. Disgusting. Um, ooh, there's a sponge full of ink. How yummy. Uh, so then, uh, what shall we do to this now? Uh, maybe hold it uh, in place again to see if it. this was actually the case with this uh, weird behavior. I assume it is. So let's just hold it in place and hope that it doesn't uh, like hit my finger or something. Let's turn it off again. Yep. Yeah. Ouch! Now it's completely confused, let me tell you that. Um, this is one confused printer. Doesn't even know what to show. Yeah, see, it's now found its position because now it knows its position by the um, from using this magnetic strip. Pretty straightforward, I guess. Um, now let's see uh, what what are those for? What are all these for? Um, that right here seems to be for those. Oh no, I just touched the sponge. Uh, um, let's see what all these are for. Uh, so. Blue red, uh, no, a black red are um, are this motor that moves a carriage. What is this? This black and white. Let's see what happens if I remove this plug and uh, turn it on. Does the printer do anything? Let's see if we can turn this off. I don't know what it's trying to do. Let's print, try printing something. Uh, let's try printing the Oh. The, oh, the door's open. In carriage stalled. No, it's not stalled. It shouldn't be stalled. Let's try again.
I don't even know what it's trying to do. What 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 is the white thing for? Probably it's for this roller right here. Let's plug this back in and see what happens. Let's press this. Yep, those were the rollers. Um, you know there are those little transportation rollers in here. Um, so that is probably white and black. Now let's find out what these do. Um, first let's put this back. Um, this magnetic strip so I can actually see what these other cables do. Right, uh, now let's see what happens. Doesn't do anything except blinking. Oh, it didn't take the squeegee back down, so now you can see the squeegee is locking up. Uh, it's locking the page in place. Uh, that's quite weird. Let's see if I can get rid of that squeegee. I can't get rid of a squeegee, that's weird. Um, now let's press the button again. That thing is vicious, let me tell you that. I don't know what it's trying to do. I don't know what these cables are for. Um, I assume they are for some sort of motor or motor feedback as you have three, uh, three phase basically. That's interesting. Um, Let's see if I can push the squeegee down. I can't. Maybe that's a squeegee control. Let's see if that makes the squeegee go away. No, it doesn't. Still yet to find out what it what this cable does. Still can't work it out and the squeegee is now stuck in there for some reason. Can't get rid of it. Um, I really don't want to break everything now. But that squeegee is probably now there for good. I don't know how to get rid of a squeegee. Hello German Elevator Guard, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate about the squeegee is now. Oh dear, I just don't get why, why it does that. That is super weird. Um, Doesn't do anything at, at, at all. Just straight turns off, does it? This is super weird. I don't know why why it does that. Um, so we've already seen that the magnetic strip no lets this know when uh, when uh, the position is reached, and once the uh, strip is uh, is gone, it smashes into there and smashes into there as it doesn't know where the where its position is. Um, right now my fingers are dirty again from all this ink. Um, so now what we're trying to do is we want to manually control the motor. For that purpose I guess we're going to unscrew the motherboard. Or how are we, are we best going to do this? Um, because I kind of thought about, uh, no it's an HP, a, a HP dropper. So kind of what, what I thought about is making a lift out of this, see? Uh, no, that's not how, how I'm supposed to do this. See, uh, I kind of thought that this motor could be strong enough, 
Well, oh, let's first try this out uh, to move the printed carriage up and down and as it is very exact so maybe we can do some um, leveling with this by manually powering this and having it uh, work as a lift that's what I'm trying to accomplish um, but first let's see if it actually prints when in vertical when when held up vertically for that purpose let me just adjust the webcam a bit Ooh. there we go Ford looks fart. Here we go. Um, let's plug everything back in. Plug this back and uh, make sure I don't have any glasses on my desk. Now put this right, maybe like this. Now let's see what happens if I turn it on. Hello. Doesn't do anything. I mean, technically, technically does work, but gravity always gets the better of it. See, it's always ending up down here, so it should keep there, because. As soon as, no, as there is no power, it plummets down. I guess that's the issue we're facing. Um, let's turn it back on and turn it back off. Well, let's see if I can actually print a page with it. Yeah, let's try printing a page. Here we got a piece of paper, of course, recycled. Um, now let's get this into here and see if we can actually print something when it's invert. No, oh dear, that is going to be super dodgy. Let's do a print job. Print. Oh no! Why is it not able to communicate with it? No, that is stupid. That is absolute BS. Let's plug it back in. Turn it on. Now try printing it again. Go to camera. I want to print something. I don't want to maintain the printer. I want to print something, stupid piece of tech. There's the maintenance in progress. Let's try it again. It's blinking, it's blinking. Oh yes, the ink cartridge is stored because it's now detecting that it's back down there. No, it's jamming up. It's jamming up. Uh, Let's let's turn the printer around, um, just about like this. Um, oops, there was just something I fell down here. Got no idea what it is. Um, let's make sure it doesn't jam up. Let's just put the paper in normally. Maybe like this. Come on, print the motherfucker. Print the goddamn paper. It's a print, it's supposed to print, not blink. I oh didn't know there's ink on there. Oh dear. I did call, always comes back with ink cartridge stored. That is absolute BS, let me tell you that. 
Let's try again. I hate when you can move when you can't move windows. Nope, it won't print like that because gravity is too strong for it. Let's put it back like this, and here we got the printer. Now, uh, let's first unplug all of these and see what we got in this printer aside from this crap. Um, now, first, let's, I guess we should get rid of these um, ink cartridges because the ink cartridges are going to be very messy. Also, what I don't understand is that it doesn't print because if you see right here, it's still liquid and obviously there's still ink in there. So I don't know why it doesn't print. I just to make it as least messy as possible, let's get those out like this. Wrap them in the paper. So now they, oh, nose. Um, and oopsie, where is the light gone? Pretty much get rid of them. There we go. Um, now, uh, what we need to do is we need to somehow extract this mill rail thingy. Or we need to first, how, how are we going to best do this? Um, so here's my multimeter, which sadly plummeted, and now it's broken. See, it's now smashed up all the way. That is absolutely horrible. It's now not working anymore. So I guess it's also another case for the bin or for my hammer or something like that because I can't use a meter that doesn't work. Probably need to order a new one as well, which is super bad because it's just fallen from a distance of about one meter and it's already broken, so that's bad. Um, come on, close the motherfucker. Why isn't it closing? Oh no, it's already broken off right here. What is this? It's not supposed to break off that easily, is it? Um, so how are we best going to do this? Um, maybe, just maybe, let's get some... Um, put the bin back here. Maybe, just maybe, it is an option to get a power supply. Let me just get a power supply. And guess what? There is an option of getting a power supply. Beautiful. Um, Let's find something to plug this in. Uh, where's where's my extension cord gone? It's it's supposed to become a lift. Uh, yes, that is what this is. It's it's supposed to become a lift at some point. Oh no, there's lots of ink. Oh dear, no, my white table. Oh no, there's lots of ink. Just look at this. Ah, oh, it's horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh dear, lots of ink. Oh, oh, oh. Just look at this. There's all these nasty bits and pieces about. And oh dear, my extension cords fall in there. Uh, Why is my extension cord gone? Let's unplug this. We don't need this. Oh, what is, what is this? 22 volts. That's quite large, actually. Didn't expect it to have 22 volts. Um, do you have a lab bench? Uh, why should I wear socks when I'm at home? Yeah, that is the uh, that is the supply. Uh, now, let's. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, it's getting so dodgy. Uh, it looks like a mess in here. Um, let me tell you that it absolutely does look like a mess. Um, oh, there, there, there's my solution cord. Look at that. They even saved on this little piece of wire. That's just absolutely useless. What are you gonna do with something like this? 
it, you, you can't particularly do anything with it. I know you're just waiting for me to drop for, for me to drop the camera. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, oh dear, that's probably gonna trigger someone's epilepsy. Right, let's make sure I'm not showing it again. Um, let's put this on here really carefully. Even more careful. Uh, yeah, just about that. Um, now it's on a tripod and now it shouldn't tip over anywhere. Right, um, boom, here we are. Let's get this thing. Oops, camera. Don't you dare move when I drop something on the cam on the table. Let's get this. And... Oh dear. It almost happened. It almost happened. Oh dear. Um, yes, you can also get a Fortex Fat shirt as soon as a merch shop is online. Um, oh no, it's falling into the sponge. Oh no, it's falling into the sponge. It's now full of ink. Oh no. Oh no. That's also falling into the sponge. Um, let me just get a tripod. Let me, let me grab a tripod because I don't want the camera to fall down and do anything. Uh, now we just, let me just do a bin vision. Let's just do bin vision and uh, I'll be right back. Extending my tripod now. Let me just uh, please just stand by for a second. Um, it's going to take maybe like a minute or so for me to completely extend, extend this tripod and to put it, set it up, uh, put it down on the table. Right. Uh, okay, I might actually change position now. Um, My table looks like an absolute mess. Please don't complain about it when you see it. Um, right here, this little dog for the... Um, here's that little dog for the, for the camera. Just screw the camera on there. And uh, after that, I guess we should be good and safe to continue. Um... Let me just screw this on, onto the camera. I guess that's kind of too risky doing it like this. That is definitely too risky. That is super risky doing it like that. <laughs> Uh, how can I best do this? Uh, it's, no, it's tangled up. Um, I just move the bin. No. Uh, maybe let's try. No, that's, that's super risky as well. Uh, I just put the camera right in front of me. I guess that is the best way to do it now. Uh, now let's connect those. Put this aside. Now let's see. Oh dear, that is one heavy thing. Uh, put it on 4.6 volts now. Uh, get rid of these and see if we can actually drive the motor somewhere. This is super uncomfortable to sit like this, let me tell you that. Um, oops! I didn't think it's going to do it that way. thing is super fast. Oh dear, my fingers. I need to watch my fingers out. My fingers are get crushed in there. Let's put this all... Let's put it like to 14 volts. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Um. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
I just, I'm just super bad at everything I do. Yep, there we go. Um, that's how fast the printer can, printer can go. I've never seen it going that fast. Just imagine the pages per minute you could do with it going super fast. Uh, oh my goodness, that is fast. Uh, boom! <laughs> Uh, let's just turn it down to like one, one volt, one volt, or like 2.2 volts to 2.0 volts. Let's see what it does now. That's much more like it. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get it at like a leveling speed for a lift. Hello, VF1996. Yeah, that's much more like it. Yeah, let's turn it down a little bit. Just they so about moves. It doesn't move. Let's turn it on. This is super dodgy. I guess that's about uh, the the best we can adjust it. In comparison to to wait, boom! Oh, that was close. So then let's just, I guess, uh, remove this part, get rid of the, all the rest, and uh, I guess let's just do this. Um, what an absolute mess of cables there is now. Um, Oh, how do we do this best without... Right, uh... I guess that's what, how we're going to do this. Where's... Where's my screwdriver gone? Oh dear, here's, here's some disinfectant, here's some disinfectant. Uh, let's just disinfect the entire thing in case there's something bad in there. Right, uh... Uh... Right. This screwdriver is absolute, absolutely horrible. Do never buy a Xiaomi Wow Stick. The Wow Stick is absolutely horrible. It's super bad. Can we already remove it? Nope, we can't. Uh, Let's try, uh, oh there's even more screws in here. Now it smells of disinfectant and I probably shouldn't have wasted my disinfectant like this. Get rid of this part, get rid of that cable and here we are. With a circuit board, looks like that, nothing special, nothing really worth, um, yeah. Now, what is this little part right here? Don't know what that is. How can we just remove this mill part? Oh, look at that, there's even another big motor down there. Let's hope I can somehow remove this little screw that is back here. Can't see it, but there is a screw. Believe it or not. Uh, I can't, I can't reach it. I don't believe it, I can't reach a screw. Um, And where do all of these go? Oh dear, that is super confusing. Um, how do I best remove all of this? Um, now let's see, uh, where is... Uh, 
how can I, why, why can't I not reach this motherfucking screw? Um, let's see if I can find a screwdriver that fits it. That thing is absolute garbage. Do you never buy, do you never buy a Xiaomi bar stick? Let's see if a Phasenprüfer works. I don't know what, what it is called in German. Um, uh, what, it, what it is called in English. Um, uh, get rid of this cable and don't have it fall into the bin. Don't want to throw it away. Um, maybe don't push down some random keys on my keyboard. Right. Um, let's see if it works with a flat head. It does work with a flat head, which I'm very pleased about. Um, I just dump all the trash out. Oh no, my desk, oh dear. What is it doing to my desk? Let's hope we, get, we can get rid of this. There's a little unnecessary plastic piece and there's a sponge full of ink. going to remove the rest probably by not screwing out this part but rather screwing out this this screw right here does it come off it does come off um, maybe we should remove this part as well this is super flimsy. I just can't get over how flimsy it is. Um, oh, come on. So let's see if we can remove it. And I guess I can't, because I'm bad at everything I do, um, pretty much. How can I not remove this? Where, where, where am I missing the screw? It's is it that is it that part? I guess it, it is. It is that part. Um, let's remove that screw and hope it doesn't let anything fall off. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to be a lift engineer, but um, I guess the issue with it is that I'm not strong enough. That's basically it. I'm super weak. I have a muscle disease. I can't do it. Um, here we go. Now let's see what's underneath it. Just nothing but plastic, basically. I'm going to get this motor out later. Or how can I? It, no, it's just, it, 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 it just slid in there. That is what we are aiming at. See? Lift carriage. Um, um, how can I get rid of this? Um, und das Problem ist, um, es gibt einfach nicht genug Geld. Ich bin eine sehr gierige Person. Und um, was ich da so gesehen habe, es ist einfach, ich glaube, ich fühle mich da auch an, an einigen Stellen unterfordert, wenn ich da so sehe, also Maschinenbau oder sowas. Ich weiß nicht, ob das nicht ein bisschen wenig für mich wäre. Also ich mache halt auch so viel eben mit Computer und ähm, ich weiß nicht, ob ich da jetzt einfach Aufzugsteile von A nach B schleppen, so das Richtige für mich ist. Um, I was just telling everyone about my, my job perspectives in the near future. Uh, in German. Um, right, let's just get a piece of paper and I'll get rid of this nasty ink. Um, how do we get rid of this? Let's just see. Um, maybe undo this screw. this part right here oh it's a oh look about it it's 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 like a taco for 
That is interesting. Look at that, it's a taco for the uh, for this little thing that spins. See there's a mag magnetic taco thing in here and as it, oh no, more ink as it spins, it passes through here and uh, makes it spin. Oh no, all of the ink, oh dear. It's ink, it's not quite quenching my thirst, let me tell you that. Um, Uh, right. Oh, come on, there's so much ink. Where's all that ink coming from? This printer was like never used and still there's lo so much ink about everywhere. Inkjet printers are the messiest, messiest thing there is. Uh, now this one's getting replaced with a net, uh, with a, uh, with a laser. I pers persuaded to, uh, I persuaded my, uh, my grandparents to buy a laser. They've already been going for inkjet, and and I've, they, they've been replacing so many inkjet printers just because of pretty much this. Um, because that is absolutely just a waste. It's a scam, basically. Now let's get rid of this part, which just breaks off like this. Let's. Maybe it doesn't break off that easily after all, but look at all of these. Uh, 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 I just, oh, look at my table. Oh, that's horrible. Um, can we get this out? No, it's still somehow connected. Where's, where's it connected? There we go. Um, there we go, that is interesting. So here's this little taco that spins along with it, which is interesting. Um, yeah, let's keep that as well. I guess there's nothing of interest in this part uh, other than maybe a little motor back here, but it seems to be super tiny. What is this? Oh no, this is just this thing. That it, that's just the thing that detects if, print, if paper's loaded. I guess that is the rest that can go into the bin. Uh, yeah. So I guess we've now extracted the most important things. Um, let's sit back down and uh, have a look at this. Um, that's super interesting. Yeah? With this little taco on there, that's that's pretty clever in my opinion. Um, and definitely more worth than twenty euros. Um, but like printers are always uh, always sold at a loss for the company, so yeah, I guess that's no great surprise. Um, that's just horrible. Um, How do I remove this part? Uh, can I actually remove it? I don't know. Um, see, it's even got a little pulley up there. It's, that's nice. Um, boom. Um, oh no, oh no. Oh dear, bye bye table. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, let me just quickly get rid of this somehow.
back from washing my fingers. Uh, right, quickly dry off and try getting rid of some. Oh no, it's permanent, is it? No. Oh fucking hell! No more ink. Oh dear. Oh fucking hell! No. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, I cut myself. Oh dear. Oh, the alcohol just hurts so much. Uh, oh, it does come off. That is good. Um, that comes off at least. Um, there's still something somewhere in here. I just wipe these all down to make sure there's no ink left on the surface. Of any of that. Oh dear, I mess up with everything I do. Right, uh, just put me somewhere. Okay, um. Oh no, there's even more ink. I can't be, let's just get the paper towel. Where's it? Where's it gone? There it is. Um. Oh no, even more of ink. There's like so many little pigments that just oh make it all worse if you hit them. Oh come on! Why is it getting worse? It's like a little piece of colour that I just smear. Oh yes, these are pieces of colour. But now get active with something wet being there. Oh dear. Oh uh, no, oh no, oh no. Let me quickly get a dry paper towel. Uh, oh no. Please give this stream a like if, it, if I should continue like this. Um, that is absolutely horrible, 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 horrible. Oh no. Oh dear, that is absolutely horrible. Why does it keep smearing? Stop smearing everywhere, stupid ink. Yep, I guess that should be it so far. Um, yeah, probably I, I have in this, in this room over right there, I have this, uh, I have a big bag of plastic, but uh, of plastic film to cover things with. But I couldn't do anything else. It would just even make it worse with all this plastic being there. Um, where did I? Where did I cut myself? And why does it hurt so much? Uh, oh dear! Look at my finger. That's absolutely gross. Um, right. Um, Please no one say it. <laughs> I just want to see. Uh, right, it's. Let's turn this down. Because the idea is stupid. You told, you told me yourself. Leon Theo, you told me yourself. And why are, why are you so keen on knowing my face? What is, what is so special about my face? What, why do you want to know it so desperately? Why don't we just do Leon Theo face reveal? How about that? Um, I don't remember what, 
What you told me? I don't remember. So it does work. Now I need to find something, uh, something to hold it up. It should get a little break type of thing. Yeah, it should get a break. Don't know how I'm going to do the break. But this would just perfectly serve as a lift. Oh, this hurts so much. Um, you, I haven't seen your face. Or oh, is it bewerbung.png on your desktop? Um, ouch. Oh no, more ink. Right, uh, I guess this is going to wrap up the stream for today. I'm going to have to find like some housing type of thing where I'm going to put this in. Um, oh, you've been lying to me. Leon, Theo, you told me it wasn't you as I pointed it out. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, bewerbung.png. I, 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 well, I, haven't, I haven't seen it in full size. I don't, I don't really remember it, to be honest. <laughs> Um, I guess this will wrap up the stream for today. I'm going to find a housing for this and on the next stream I'm probably going to try regulating this motor. I don't think you can do it with a VFD but um, I guess we can do something with it. Um, and I'm, not, I'm not doing phase trade. Where, where, where are we ending with this? Um, and uh, yes, so I guess that's going to be it for this stream. Make sure you give it a like uh, and uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, visit liftsnetwork.net uh, for me and Leon and Theo's latest uh, web development project. And until then, have a nice one. And until then, bye. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. How did this just happen? Ah, uh, fucking hell. Uh, stream. Uh, wait, where's it gone? Uh, no. First stream. Miscellaneous.